everyone. I am Amy, aka Miss Habit from the Servios community, and I'm here with a very special guest. We have uh, the actual game director from The Walking Dead Onslaught, our upcoming BR title, Mr. Andrew Abedian here, to help me share some exciting news, as well as give you guys a deeper look into the game that we are creating. Andrew, what is The Walking Dead Onslaught? In as few words as possible, uh, Walking Dead Onslaught is an action slasher and it is based in the Walking Dead brand. We've worked directly with AMC's producers and writers to make sure we get an authentic experience where you feel like you've just been thrown into an episode of The Walking Dead. We feature Rick, Daryl, Michonne, and Carol, and really the heart of the conflict is happening between Rick and Daryl. Uh, the story itself is taking place between season eight and nine where it's like post-war with the Savior's territory during the time skip. And we took a lot of notes from season nine where Rick and Daryl are kind of fighting uh, and they're having kind of a, a high level philosophical fight really about like uh, Daryl wanting to keep things as they are and like more intimate, more about the group, the rugged individualism and Rick kind of doing the, the bit of the world, right? Like pushing society forward, trying to rebuild. Mm -hmm. uh, and we wanted that to be an embodiment in the game. And of course, Alexandria is kind of like that core space and we really wanted to yeah, represent it right. as this little hub environment that not only is authentic to the show, but also something that the player experiences building themselves. So as you're collecting all of these resources, you can bring them back to Alexandria. And it sounds like you're able to invest them into the community. You can invest them into rebuilding structures, in but there's another station in Alexandria um, called the Armory, which is my favorite station. And that has to do with actually upgrading and tailoring your arsenal to your own play styles. So this is where all the fun stuff is. Andrew, can you talk a little bit more about how players are gonna be using the armory? Well, they're not gonna get every weapon all at once <laughs> from the beginning. <laughs> but they could. Uh, uh, everybody wants everything to be overpowered all the time. <laughs> but uh, the actual way it's gonna happen is through campaign missions or scavenger missions. Uh, you'll find weapons out in the environment and when you find them, they're discovered bring them back to Alexandria. When they're in Alexandria, they're in the armory. And when you access them in the armory, they have four different upgrades that can be applied to them. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can craft these things with the various materials that you've gotten. Uh, and you can upgrade them in any order that you want. If you want to skip an upgrade, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but really it, the core of it is that we split into two different directions with these upgrades, where it's like the melee stuff is a lot more fantastical. So it's like slow motion, right? Like turn on your slow motion by killing a walker and then everything slows down. You start murdering walkers every which way that you want. <laughs> Everyone can imagine it. It's exactly what you imagine. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the flip side of that is the range weapons. Uh, range weapons, we go a little bit more, you know, like military semi with it, where it's like you're attaching a vertical grip or a hollow sight or a muzzle break. And these things have kind of the, uh, you know, measured effects that you expect recoil reduction and you can stabilize a weapon. But there is a couple of sprinkles of awesome in there. A shotgun can have its reloading removed, wow. which is like its last upgrade. That's which a little just turns fantastical it... on its own too. And, and that's really kind of where we wanted to go with it. Uh, like we really wanted you to feel like you were playing this awesome, fun game with like lots of walkers and bloodshed and killing. And we didn't want you to feel like constricted by your weapons. We wanted to give you a tool set of weapons that you're constantly evolving and it changes the way that you play the game. So you're constantly getting this evolving experience of combat. Yeah, and it's really all about giving the player the choice and the freedom to customize not only their weapons, but their whole loadout, right? So you get to mm -hmm. choose what weapons you want to bring out with every single supply run. You get to choose and experiment with how do you prefer to enter the apocalypse and, and slay some walkers. I just want to say that uh, we all hope that you guys enjoy it. We put a lot of effort into it. We really feel like we hit the goal that we set out for ourselves, bringing all this stuff to life and we just can't wait for you guys to play the game. And I know we didn't get to share everything. We kind of wanted to keep it around Alexandria and a little bit uh, about the combat systems that we're creating, um, but there will be more gameplay and more um, information that we'll be sharing in the future. So if you want to keep in touch with us, just follow us on social media at Servios, or you can go again to the website and join our newsletter.